Okay, today I'm rocking a really simple lamb rack recipe. So I'll start off by brining the lamb rack. Um, this is just an overnight soak in kind of a salty bath. I get two tablespoons of salt and one tablespoon of sugar per 500 mils of water. Now that's I'm going to use that twice to get uh, one liter of water and then add any other spices that I feel like and today it's going to be rosemary um, that is garlic powder and onion powder and just one tablespoon each of those and I'm just going to draw the liquid out I put the lamb rack under water to help draw the air out and then just let it rest for a night come back the next day and a lot of those flavors are going to be soaked right into the lamb and the fluid levels inside the meat are just going to be so much higher making it a juicier lamb there's a bit of a fat cap here so I'm going to salt that down and try and draw out some of the moisture pat it down um, pat down any extra excess moisture out of that and some whole grain mustard now we'll see how how well this goes getting stat after it spins on the rotisserie i'm going to give the fat cap a bit of a score as well and then just let it spin with the flames now I've got red gum wood again burning off to provide the heat for this cook it's quite a fragrant smoke as well About an hour later, it's hit the temperature and I'm going to make a quick dipping sauce of soy and balsamic vinegar and a bit of honey. Okay. All right, so taste test. We've got here lamb. And there's a dipping sauce as well. Just try it first. Here we go. Yeah, mm. it first. Mm. Juicy. Juicy. Smoky. Tender. And you can tell that's lamb. Well, well so a little bit. Mommy. What she means is it doesn't have a gamey taste to it. Mm. There's no... Um, you know when you have lamb, sometimes it tastes really gamey. There's none of that here. I think that's probably because it was brined overnight. But the smoke is very evident and it's just so tender. And really and, juicy. And really juicy. And let's try out. And the, the, the sort of the, the fat layer is quite crispy and delicious. And let's try out this dipping sauce. Now you should like this one. She took mm. another piece of mine. Mm. I just got a bit of a hit of um, the fat. I mean, some of the fat that's on the inside is a bit gamey. This sauce will work well with that, for that part. This is part here, right? Is, yeah, that will need the dipping sauce and I'm gonna do that. Just to counteract it a little bit. And the dipping sauce makes it taste not as rich. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Bon appetit.